This is crazy. This is heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Starlink is finally here. <laughs> you can't believe how excited I am. This is crazy. Look at this. This is huge. I get it. You want me to open this box? I really want to open this box, but let me start before we do this with why I got Starlink in the first place. So we have pretty fast internet here. It's a DSL connection, so it's a least line fixed line connection, which is usually pretty reliable. But over the last couple of months, it got so unreliable that especially in phone calls, I got so many interruptions. And when in the beginning of this year, Starlink was announced to be available for pre-order in Germany, I didn't hesitate a second, I pre-ordered it right away. And now I think it's about five to six months later, this huge box arrived and I really can't wait to open it. But I wanna explain how this actually is gonna work because we are going to test it today in the garden and put it on the grass. So just to figure out if it's working and how it's working. And then in the next few weeks, we're gonna put it up on the rooftop and then we'll finally have it installed and racked up to the internal LAN network so we can get every computer in this household connected via Starlink and optionally still keep the DSL connection as a fallback solution. So that's what I'm planning to do. So let's have a look inside. What's in the box? This is a little schema, obviously, how this is going to work. So we're putting this dish on the ground. It's connecting up to the satellites. Then we have the ground station, basically the router, which opens up a wireless network. And then we can connect to this network using our phone or any device we use to configure. And here we go. Here we have obviously the stand, which we'll need in a second to put this on the ground. So I'd say let's take everything out of the box and put especially the dish on this little tripod that's coming with it, putting it in the garden so we can get it set up. So this is the one thing that you don't want to have running in the garden when you are putting out cables. So let's send this guy home. So actually my first idea where to put the dish was um, first up here on the garage, but we still have some trees um, that are going to obstruct the sky. And there's another tree right behind the garage that's growing and growing. So uh, over a short period of time, that's gonna also be obstructing some of the view. And then we have another huge tree up here, which is another issue. So uh, finally, I will probably put it up here right here on top of the house. So we have no obstructions, we have free view to the sky and hopefully this is going to work best on this spot. But we need to install a mounting pole up there and this is going to happen in the next coming weeks. So until then for testing, I'm gonna put it right down here on the grass and I'm gonna show you how the app works to figure out the right spot where to put your satellite dish. So what you essentially do is you launch up the Starlink app on your phone and then you have an option to uh, look for obstructions. And then you're looking up and then you're looking in the sky and you're basically just scanning the sky. Then we can view the results. So you see right where I'm standing, this is not it's probably not a good position. We have uh, some obstructions here. The tree is obstructing the sky. And then this is probably the other tree here in the garden. So let's actually try another position a little bit more here in the middle of the garden. And let's test it out. Okay, so this seems to be actually a much better spot. It says every 13 minutes we're gonna have an interruption. So I, I would say we'll put it right here on the grass and do our testing. Two, 
one. Okay, let's briefly look at the dish, what it's doing. Okay, looking straight up now. So Dishi seems to be looking right up into the sky, looking for satellites. Now it's time to take out the app and check the connection. I hope you're enjoying this video so far because it's time to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for people who want more than just consuming content but who also like to connect with other learners and share their achievements. Exploring new skills, deepening existing passions and simply getting lost in creativity is what Skillshare is all about. Since we are approaching the last part of this year, I'm looking into classes which will help me find focus and making the right goals for the upcoming year. I figured that the classes from Ali Abdal are great resources of inspiration. I can highly recommend his courses and also his YouTube channel if you're looking to become more productive. Skillshare's content is created specifically for learning, there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused. The first 1000 of you to click the link in the description of this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Check it out and thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So at the moment, the network seems to be disconnected and it's online right now. Okay, speed testing. Nice. It's not bad. Seems to be that the download speed is 63 megabits per second and the upload it's 12 megabits per second. So it's not bad for a first test and especially because it's sitting there in the middle of the garden with some obstructions with this tree going on it's not a bad first result i would say so let's give it a little more testing from my computer so you see we're connected to the starlink network uh, let's try to watch some video here on youtube let's see you're not gonna believe works. this i get the drone up in the air and i've turned across three dolphins yeah. seems to be working great and <laughs> by the way i really love these videos super cool so much fun to watch this channel uh, really fun so this seems to work fine uh, let's give it a try and test out the ping times uh, with the terminal so i'd say 70 milliseconds is pretty good for me that seems to be acceptable for the moment um, i'm not a gamer so for phone calls this would be fine and for watching videos probably also and yeah let's use the google speed test it's in German, unfortunately, but I mean, the numbers are speaking for themselves. So well, the upload speed is a little bit lower than before. Yeah, 85 and 5.6. So in the original app, we had a little bit faster upload speed, but that might change during the day. And due to the reason that we still have some obstructions going on here with the trees, I will have somebody come and install this uh, mounting pole on top of the roof, and then we'll do the cable installation together. And you can expect an update in a few weeks with new speed tests and an update overall on the reliability and how I managed to get the DSL connection and Starlink working together in our network. So you're gonna also know how to do a failover scenario. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. A little bit unusual for this channel, but I've asked you if you want it and you've got it. And next time probably we'll see each other again about 3D printing and more stuff.